with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. With those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. Hey guys, welcome to Chimp Dinner Live, coming to you from Myrtle Beach Safari. We got our fabulous chimpanzee family ready for dinner. Sugriva's already telling me, hey, we already opened, let's get some dinner. We better get to it. I can see he's a hungry hippo. We got a beautiful salad. I'll talk to you about those in just a moment. Look what's coming in. Holly, great stuff. Right here we have these beautiful Mexican style salads right now. This is our salads in honor of Cinco de Mayo, which just passed. And the chimpies just love lettuce in any way that it can come. It's got a beautiful avocado dressing on it. It's full of real tasty stuff. And it gives these boys the nutritious, delicious food that they want. Let's see, Angada, has he got a plate? There, oh, look, I see a little Angada plate. He's got a little bit of everything right there. He got a whole lot of the next round. The quesadilla. You're a good boy, good boy. All right, Vo Volley's already putting some hurt onto that sandwich right, uh, onto that salad right there, making his way to it. You know, these guys have an enormous appetite. Chimpanzees eat some huge caloric intake. They're eating at least three to 4,000 calories in a day, 5,000 on a big day, and they're moving all the time. They do exercise it off. They'll sleep, they'll kind of catnap for a couple hours during the day, and they'll get there eight to good, 10 hours of good sleep at night. But in between, they are moving and swinging and working, making this big, powerful arm work out right there. Look at that, look at the biceps on that puppy right there. Yeah, that is a big old arm right there. It's uh, certainly bigger than my arm. That is a heck of a lot of chimpanzee man right there. So grief is 165 pounds of spring steel and sex appeal right there. You got beautiful baby Tara who's running about 25 pounds. That little lady right there is two years old, 10 years old. Volley, who's rolling up on 11 years old, a much finer boned boy down to around 130 pounds. He was Mr. 123 for quite a while. He stayed at 123, but he's, he's filling out just a little bit by bit. And then the cutest boy in the whole wide world, we got Ungara, the chimpanzee man right there. 30 pounds right now, you think? 36. 36 pounds of Angada. It's like a cannonball because it's in a very small package. It's moving fast and he thinks that he is large and in charge. You let him in the car and he's got the wheel. You let him go to the door and he's got the knob. He is ready to grab everything and anything as quick as he can, but he's still a sweetheart. He still wants to hold hands and be in your arms. Every night he'll fall asleep right on my chest if he gets a chance. I'll pull his little hairs and kind of groom him along his back stretches lips and nose and eyelids out. All of that is ambrosia to a chimp. That's a massage to a chimp. Really nice big pulls, you know, you can pull up their eyes and their nose. So he was like, not during dinner, dear grandpa. He digs that stuff and we'll do that and watch a movie and he'll be a good boy. You know, it was really cool. They all have enjoyed it. Angad and I watched it twice the other day. He watched it as he fell asleep, watched it when he got up. Is on Netflix a new television series called Animal. I've not seen the whole series. I don't know how accurate the series is, but the one on apes, which is episode one of season two, that is some cool stuff. It's shot beautifully. It's got great chimpanzee footage, orangutans, gorillas, and other stuff there. And it's beautiful stuff. The chimps sat down and stared at it. There's a lot of chimp action, there's battles that happen, there's babies. And Angada and I could watch the whole thing. The next morning, he's like, oh, I think it's about time to wake up. He's kind of sleepyhead. I flipped that on, and he's back at it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, working, working that television screen, talking to them, making sure what are they doing. They like the gorillas also a lot. The gorilla footage, and it's really cool. I hadn't seen it before. Two families of gorillas conflicting over territory. The two males fighting, and the females 
joining in, like being little harassers in the background. Animal on Netflix season two, episode one was pretty dang cool. The rest of it's probably good too. I gotta watch the rest, but we'll watch that episode over and over because the chimps just get involved in all that chimpanzee craziness. Now, this is their first round. We're gonna eat a wide variety of stuff that'll be coming. Um, Sagreev is telling us that these are no longer food. What are these? These are chunks of olive. He's separating them out. He's mowed them a little bit, and then he's throwing them off to the side there. He also has cashed in on this sliced kind pepper. pepper. Some kind of pepper, he says. So we'll, we have a pepper and an olive ring there that is his. He says, hey, you just pulled my hair. If I lean in too close and I, I touch his hairs of his elbows, he's like, get, get off my elbow hair. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have hairy elbows. Yeah, that's crazy stuff. All right, guys, we've got some other cool stuff coming up. We've got some questions that you guys have sent in. We want you to send in all of your questions. We try to get to all of them and answer them as we've got time. What is our first question this evening, Alicia? What is the most popular treat amongst the chimps? What is the most popular treat amongst the chimps? For the big guys, hands down, it's grapes. Grapes are their favorite. The only thing they like better is frozen grapes. You give them a bag of frozen grapes, and really good solid frozen grapes, and they will eat those like little ice creams. They're kind of like little bonbons for chimps. Sagreev is looking over my shoulder to see what else he can have. And they love that stuff. They love watermelon. They like, you know, juicy, sweet fruits. I think if Sagreev has a real favorite that he likes to grab onto, he loves to eat mangoes. Have your salad, Gigantic. Your dad's got a couple more fabulous bites. Look at that bite. Look at that bite right there. Get it, get it, get it. He's like, can I see peppers on that bite? Ah, get it, get it. Chomp it up, chomp it up, you chimpanzee man. You know, the little guys can play with all kinds of stuff. They love peanut butter and jelly. I think also because it's got that sweet taste in it and stuff. But they like texture. It depends if they're eating because they're hungry or because they just want that sugar. But they love to eat. Hey. What else do we know, Alicia? So... Sagriva makes phone calls all the time. I don't know if it's accident. I think Sagriva just gets the phone and doesn't have the full grasp of exactly what the timing is and what's happening. But Sagriva has called me 50 times somewhere between 10 p.m. and 3 in the morning. He's called me 3 in the morning over and over before. Keeps calling, keeps calling, and he FaceTimes a lot of the time. So he's FaceTiming and he just looks at the phone. You see him staring at you. You're like, nothing's there. So you just have to tell the phone. Cody, Cody, wake up, Cody, wake up. And then Cody has to wake up and get the phone from the madman because the madman's making ongoing dials. We have these fabulous quesadillas right here. These are a four cheese quesadilla that Rajani has made up for them. I've got a little note there that gives us the full Monty. Monterey Jack Cheddar, queso cheese, and Asiago cheese. They're dressed with pinto bean sour cream and mango salsa, all freshly made beautiful stuff. She says bon appetit, and Sagriva is bon appetiting just like that. Look at him, pop those puppies up. Look at that beautiful boy. You gotta get close up of that. He says, that is just fabulous. I really like the mango on top, don't you? Mango's always a favorite for Sagriva. He finds that to be delicious. Oh, and it's all gone in one bite. <laughs> they have no problem taking massive bites. You know, they can put a whole pear in their mouth and just chew it up. Nothing squirts out the side. They can pack it in, or they can be dainty eaters. It just kind of depends on their mood. What chimp is the funniest of them all, and what is, who is the most loving? Which one of the chimps is the funniest? I don't know. You've got to just look through what they think about life and stuff. So green Griva here, he has a favorite cookie, and that is a chocolate chimp cookie. <laughs> you got Big Volley down there on the end. What is his favorite song? Why, it's Jungle Bells. Tara's take on all this is, why is Tara so much trouble? She's got a lot of apitude. <laughs> Ungata's got his take on the whole thing. Yeah, what is your favorite day? Ape Rule Fool's Day. But um. The next round's coming to the big guys. They have their favorite thing. Sagreev is so excited it's coming in. It is the fabulous Dave's Killer Bread peanut butter and jelly. Woo! Yeah, right there. And of course, I've got to get a hold of it. And the next one's coming up. Volley the Chimp. Is he, is he ready? Yeah. Volley the Chimp's got his 
Dave's Killer Bread sliding in. Fabulous Dave's Killer Bread, organic to the max bread, covered in the beautiful <laughs> peanut butter organico from Costco. And, of course, strawberry jam organic. Of course, they love that kind of stuff. They love the sweet, the salty, the texture. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are high on the list of a chimpanzee favorite. These chimps are here having dinner, having the greatest time of their lives, and you can have dinner with these guys. Having dinner with them is an incredible experience. We offer it once a week. We do our night and side by side. It's some beautiful stuff. You get to have an incredible interactive evening. All four of them come out, and they have a funny time just playing around under the stars, fire lit. It's like no place else on earth. 30 big tigers join us, Bubbles the elephant, and so much more. Beautiful time, beautiful images, incredible pictures of the whole process as well. All right, we have another favorite of chimps at large because chimps love fruit, right? Fruit is good stuff. So give me a look, that fruit's kind of wet. He says, let me just hold it for my grandpa. I'm going to chomp it. Yeah, baby Tara says she needs one. Baby Tara, here you go. Here you go. Get it. Go give it to your brother. Go give it to your brother. Bring her in. Bring her in, China. Oh, you're cleaning him up. Tara, Tara, get your brother. Help him out right there. Baldi's going for the smash and crash. Oh, yeah. Three good smacks and crack. He got it. What about you? What about you? We're going to put another orange in here for Tara as well. She likes orange a little bit. Cody will help share it with you. You can take Sugriva's and open it. <laughs> Sugriva got some of uh, Angada's leftovers, so he's having those in between the orange. He does like those quesadillas. Rajini did a good job making those puppies up. It's hard to beat a quesadilla, you know? What is it? It's almost like a Latin pizza, you know? What is better than a nice crust with some melted cheese, four cheeses, got some flavors on it, and mango, woo la la. Yeah, one bite, all gone, half of a tortilla. All right, guys, what else you got going on there, Alicia? People have a wide variety of ways of talking about intelligence of other animals. It's really complicated to quantify it exactly. Um, there are dogs that have thousand word vocabularies, right? Something people thought would be impossible that now is becoming more of the norm. So we're still trying to figure out chimps. Chimps are incredibly smart. In many ways, they're smarter than us about their geography, their mapping, what's happening. The way they categorize things is incredible. Their capacity to look at numbers and remember numbers and their placement in sequence. Things that many human beings have an incredibly difficult time doing without tons of training. Some people have a mind for it, but most of us, probably 99%, don't stand a chance at trying to remember number sequences like chimpanzees do on a graph. They're incredible at that. So somewhere in the four or five year old range is where they're readily able to adjust and adapt to almost everything human. They can't talk, so it's there. Getting them to have the desire to show you what they're gonna do is also incredibly complicated because they have no drive to do what you want. And just making it be about food changes the whole process of why they do stuff. A lot of the time you're not getting a glimpse into their intelligence, but you're getting a glimpse into how they perceive a trick to get you to do what they want. And it becomes a big power struggle and you're not getting the same glimpse of their intelligence as you are their ability to try and outsmart you to get a treat. So it's a very complicated thing trying to tag their age. Bali's going on another orange right there. Hey guys, you, one hit crack. Wow, powerhouse, powerhouse. He put it to it there. One hit crack for Bali on that orange. Guys, you can- hey. It's great fun. Baby Tara, an incredible Angada there, come up, interact with you, and sit in your lap. You get amazing pictures with those guys. You get an amazing experience that's chimperific. Plus, we have up to 30 big cats on the tour. Right now, we have an incredible clouded leopard that's on the tour, a beautiful black leopard baby's on the tour. Of course, our Siberian lynx are there. We also have golden tabby tigers, royal white tigers, standard tigers, running around having the time of their life. A beautiful snow tiger has been out with Cody lately. That snow tiger makes contact with the guests. It's fun stuff. The tiger run, just the greatest thing in the world. The highest paced action thing that tigers do anywhere in the world ever. We're the only people in the world to regularly ever try to do it. We have an incredible time. The big tigers get out and run like the wind. Something that can't be seen anywhere else on earth. The tiger run is a remarkable experience that you've got to witness to believe. The power, the grace, the beauty that takes place from a tiger moving at full speed is staggering. 
Come visit us at Myrtle Beach Safari, get to know the apes, get the incredible connection to Bubbles the Elephant, our beautiful, enlightened, matriarchal lady who is here hanging out, meeting everybody, the sweetest, kindest lady, been living with me for 38 years since I found her as an ivory orphan decades ago. She's a wonderful kid, just got out of the river with her just an hour ago where we swam for hours down there on the river, had guests out there swimming and playing with her, the boats coming by, the people out playing, a grand time was had by all. You gotta come and hang out and see what happens here. It is like no place else on earth here at Myrtle Beach Safari. What do we have on a chimpanzee? A big old lettuce head for me. Good stuff there, buddy. Yeah, 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 chomparoo. The lettuce is certainly one of Sagriva's favorite things. It just is occupying to him tonight. He looks like he's kind of digging into it and chowing down. Oh, you got some. Little Angada's got quite a bit happening there for him. They've had a fabulous uh, time with the lettuce already. Looking good. What else you got for a question, Alicia? Do the chimps live in your house with you, or do they live in an outside enclosure? The chimpanzees share a thousand feet of tunnels that connects through five beautiful big tree houses. They spend time out in the tree houses running in the tunnels with a dozen other apes. Those dozen apes all share that habitat, but it also enters into a huge air-conditioned heated building that's right through the wall here to my left. That has eight giant suites in it that house families. of chimps and the orangs and the gibbon apes all playing around and they're hanging out these guys go in there but then they also have the ability to transfer from that facility into this one here this is a whole space where the apes can come in it's got that beautiful second story behind me another second story on the other side where i live cody lives the apes are able to live and run around and have an interactive life with us here in the evenings eat dinner and then do this stuff now this lasts on the evenings for us. In the day, they're always out with the other apes having the time of their life. Only three days a week do we ever produce the tour. So those few days a week, they get to come out, meet guests and interact. And that's only about for a half an hour or so. And then they're back out doing their own thing on their own time. Hey, we've got the final treat for these big dogs. We've got this beautiful sorbet. Now he's still putting on some lettuce work right there but we're gonna let them have that as well. By you guys interacting with us through the Myrtle Beach Safari, we get to have an opportunity to connect with you and those finances that you come by paying the premiums to visit with these apes, those things make us be able to do our conservation incomes and other substantial opportunities because the wildlife is intact. Creating those opportunities happens because you'll visit us, rarespeciesfund.org. Come visit us, check it out, it's the greatest stuff. All right, guys, we're so glad that you hung out with us this evening and made this connection with us. We want to have you come back and see us again next Sunday. The greatest stuff, Chimp Dinner Live. See you later, guys. Say goodnight, guys. Hey, say bye-bye, 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 everybody. Bye-bye, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Rajani. Hi, Holly here. <laughs> from Early Safari, and we're making a salad. Believe it or not, because it was Cinco de Mayo this week, we thought we'd make a Mexican salad. A little bit different than the one we made last time. And we're also gonna make quesadillas. Quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Tex Mex Holly. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll start chopping up our lettuce. Do, 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 do. Arm yourselves. <laughs> And this time we're not even doing a string mix. We're just going romaine, just to make it all crunchy. All right, our lettuce is there. Boom, boop, boop. Now we're gonna make an avocado ranch dressing. So we got some avocado mash. It's a cheat. Instead of getting your avocados, just go to Costco and get an avocado mash. It's already mashed for you and ready to go. We're gonna do a half a cup of our mayonnaise. Mayo. We're using Hellman's. I know. We're in the south and we're using Hellman's. It's <laughs> blasphemy. We're gonna do a three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Oh my. 
I did that. You did that. I did that. You did that good. <laughs> Master chef. <laughs> and I think it's a half a cup here of sour cream. Maybe. Maybe a little more than a half Probably a cup. Probably a little bit more. Just My a tad bit not, more. Not exact. I wasn't mm. for the best. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guidelines, not rules. <laughs> Love it. All right, we're also gonna throw in some garlic powder. Do 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 do. We have some chives and some parsley. Now it says. White wine vinegar, but I want to taste it first and see what we think. <laughs> I'm back. She came back. <laughs> mm. I don't think it needs. That's good. That's the better vinegar. than the one last time I think. Yeah, I do too. That's good. Are we good with it? I think it's great. All right then, we'll yeah. leave it as is. So we're gonna add some tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever you wanna say. Cinco de Mayo is celebrating. Not, it's not Mexican independence. No. It is. I think it's a, it is a, is it a battle against the French? A war against the French? Like yeah, we're good. <laughs> Ask me an American history question, I can tell you. <laughs> Salad complete, ta ta ta, and we shall now move on to our quesadilla. Mm -hmm. So I got too much butter, so I just soaked up some of the butter in these, so I'll use them for later. Can't go wrong with that, right? Waste no butter. I'm going to crisp one side, where's the cheese? Crisp one side, and then I'm gonna turn it over and put the cheese on the crispy side because crispy inside and outside makes a really good cake. Now we're gonna sprinkle some cheese. So Holly made this wonderful quesadilla, and then we're just gonna add stuff to it on top. We're gonna put a little bit of beans, little pinto beans, Holly's fave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some sour cream. Do do, stay on the plate. And we're gonna add some of this mango salsa. And voila, ta-da! <laughs> so we had our Mexican salad and our quesadilla with the fixings. Mm -hmm. And we hope you enjoyed being here at Myrtle Beach Safari live with our chimp dinner. And if you did, you want to like <laughs> and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you. With us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.